Okay, next is the uh, example number two. Example number two is a common source. So this is a common source. And then the question is quite similar to the example number one. So this is a reverse uh, engineering question. Um, so the, the straightforward question would be all the resistors value are given and then you calculate the uh, uh, AC parameters. For, the re for this type of reverse engineering question, the AC parameters are given and you need to uh, obtain or need to uh, de determine what is the value of resistor okay so given that for the circuit here this is the k is given 1 milli uh, ampere over voltage square uh, threshold voltage is given 1 volt idq is given vdsq is given and zi is given v out over v in which is voltage gain is also given okay so the question is calculate the rd rs r1 and r2 you want to calculate all the resistor in the bias circuit so how we can do that so there is hint here we can start from the rd okay so actually the rd uh, the rd the rl is given and then uh, the GM can also be calculated because the K and IDQ is uh, unknown. Okay, so the RD, using the RD, uh, to calculate the RD, to solve the RD, we can use the this voltage gain. Okay, so we start with the uh, drawing the mid-band equivalent circuit. So uh, the mid-band equivalent circuit will looks like so we have here this is the uh, VS. So this is a, a typical uh, common source with the bypass capacitor. So this is the R1, and then this is the R2. So VGS this is uh, GM VGS this is RD and finally we have the RL so this is the uh, equivalent circuit at the mid band so uh, RL is known we know the RL the value is uh, 3 kilo ohm Okay, we want to use the voltage gain. We derive the voltage gain. The V out is uh, okay, V out is equal to minus GM VGS times RD parallel with RL. Okay, so uh, RD parallel with RL. So GM, can we calculate the GM? Yes, because we know the GM is uh, 2 times KIDQ. So K is given, IDQ is also given. So the K is uh, given, the K value is 1 milli. And the IDQ value is 2.25 milli. 2.25 milli. Okay, so this is the GM here is equal to 3 milli semen okay so insert this this value this is minus 3 milli and we have the vgs rd is uh, not known this is rl is 3k okay next is vi is equal to vgs so av equal to v out over v in equal to minus 3 milli VGS RD parallel with 3K over VGS so VS can be cancelled out and this gain is equal to minus 4.5 so this is the, the given specification 
So this relationship you get the RD parallel with 3K is equal to uh, 1.5K. So equal to 1.5 kilo ohm. So this is uh, RD 3K RD plus 3K equal to 1.5 kilo. So you get here the RD is 3 kilo ohm. Okay. So you, you have you, you can calculate the RD. So we have calculated the RD. This is the 3 kilo ohm. So next, uh, how we can calculate the, the rest RS, R2 and R1. Okay. So since the hint is given, the next we, uh, we need to focus on the calculation of RS. So the calculation of RS can be calculated uh, from the DC analysis at the input loop. So we do the KVL at the input loop, the DC analysis at the input loop. Okay, so uh, oh, sorry. So uh, think, uh, if you go, if you use the input loop, so uh, there will be uh, a difficulty because uh, we don't know the R1 and R2. So this is uh, quite difficult. You want to uh, use the KVL. Sorry, uh, to solve the RS, to solve the RS, we use the the KVL at the output loop. So where is the output loop? So the KVL here, we use the KVL this output loop. Okay. So KVL at the output loop. Let me uh, put it here. KVL at the uh, output loop, or uh, I put it here as a drain source loop. Drain source loop because it's passing through the drain and source. So we start from the uh, the source minus three point six volt. And then uh, plus the voltage drop at the RD, and then the VDSQ and voltage drop at the RS. So the source is uh, minus 13.6 plus this ID RD plus VDSQ plus ID RS equal to zero. Okay, so ID is given, so you know that the IDQ is given as uh, 2.25 milli, and then VDSQ is also given as uh, 5.95 volt. So VDSQ is given, so this is the VDSQ 5.95 volt. So RD, you know the RD from the calculation 3, 3 kilo ohm. So you insert all the known value. So this is uh, 2.25 milli times uh, 3K plus VDSQ is 5.95. NID is 2.25 milli. RS is unknown. Okay. So you solve this equation. This is, uh, you get the equation here. This is the uh, 2.25 milli. RS is equal to 0 0.9. So RS is equal to 0 0.4 kilo ohm. So this is the RS. 
so the RS is 400 ohm okay. so next we can solve the uh, R1 and R2 okay for R1 and R2 uh, the given the information given is ZI equal to 75 kilo ohm so the input impedance for this common source with the bypass the ZI is equal to R1 parallel with R2 R1 parallel with R2 so this is R1 R2 over R1 plus R2 this is given the value is given as 75 kilo ohm Okay, this is the first equation. Okay, and then the uh, the uh, relationship or the equation that we can use to uh, calculate the R1 and R2 is actually the voltage at the gate. Okay, voltage at the gate. So this is, we call it a VG. Okay. So uh, if you see this is a voltage di divider, so uh, when we do the DC analysis, the voltage divider we uh, transform it into uh, V thevenin and R thevenin. Okay, when you do that, uh, if I uh, withdraw the transform, this is the V thevenin. And then we have here the R thevenin. And then you have here the RS. Okay. So the voltage stop at the R thevenin. This is uh, the IG R thevenin is equal to. Zero. Okay, so the V thevenin here, the V thevenin is equal to uh, VGSQ plus IDRS. VGSQ plus IDRS. So how we can get the VGSQ? So VGSQ is not directly given. But since we know the IDQ, we can get the VGSQ. So how we can get the VGSQ is using the transfer characteristic. ID equal to uh, the K VGS minus uh, VTH square. So the K is given as uh, 1 milli and VGSTH is 1 volt. So this is equal to uh, 1 milli VGS minus 1 volt square. This is 1 milli. So this is transfer characteristic. So if the IDQ is equal to 2.25 milli, okay. So VGSQ, how much? So you just insert the IDQ 2.25 milli into the transfer equation. So you get 2.25 milli equal to 1 milli. VGSQ minus 1 square. So this will give you the VGSQ equal to uh, 2.5 volt. So this is 2.5 volt. Okay. Okay, and then for the, the, the second term, we know the ID. 
ID value is we know the ID value and RS will also have uh, determine the RS. So this V Thevenin equation is uh, can be written as the V Thevenin equal to 2.5 plus ID is 2.25 milli RS is 0.4 K so this is equal to uh, 3.4 volt okay and then you know that uh, the, the V Thevenin is also equal to uh, this is uh, 3.4 volt equal to R2 R1 plus R2 times the uh, V VDD VDD is uh, 13.6 volt so this is the uh, 13.6 volt so you get you got here the R2 over R1 plus R2 is equal to 0 0.25. So this is the second equation. Okay, using the second equation, insert it into the first equation. So uh, from the first equation, this is R1. This is the first equation equal to 75 kilo. So this is R1 0 0.25 75 kilo. So R1 is equal to uh, 75 over 0 0.25. This will give you 300 kilo ohm. So this is the answer for R1. For the R2, you can use the uh, this second equation from the second equation R2 over R sorry, R2 plus R1 300k equal to 0 0.25 so lastly you will get R2 equal to uh, 100 kilo ohm So this is the uh, answer for uh, this example number 2. So uh, to summary, the R2 is uh, 100 kilo ohm and R1 is 300 kilo ohm.